All right, so here is the otherworldly elite flyweight out of Guadalajara, Mexico, Alexa Grasso. And it's interesting to look back to early portions of her UFC career. After the Carla Esparza loss in 2019, she had lost three of five, and nobody envisioned her as a future UFC champion, but she has stayed committed to the cause every step of the way. Her grappling improvement has been unbelievable. She's always been an outstanding boxer, but she has honed that, of course, under her uncle, Francisco Grasso. This is one of the very best flyweights in the world. She is as committed to the cause as any man or woman in the world. I'm excited to see what she can do with this showcase here tonight. So here is the now two-time UFC strawweight champion of the world, Magnum Zhong Wei Li, who could forget what she did in 2019 to become the champion, but to get the title back in 2022 in that manner really set her on a rocket ship to the world. It seemed eventual. It seemed that at some point she would become the champion again, and this year, or in 2022, she got that done. This young lady has everything. She's so strong. She's so well conditioned and she has such great skills that you wonder how anyone has ever beaten her at any point in her UFC career. Now she seems to have everything in line in order to have a sustained run at the top of the UFC strawweight division. There you go, John Anik. That's my boy. Always safe. Always there for you. And I'm telling you, bro. There is a groundswell of support for her to get that super fight now. Potentially the chance to become a two-division champion given the nature of her win over Carla Esparza. We shall see. All right, now let's get to the tail of the tape for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Alexa Rosa. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC. Women's bantamweight champion of the world, John Magnum Wiley. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for fight. this one. Ready. All right, so here we go with this highly anticipated stand-up only event. You gotta play by the rules here. There aren't a ton of them, but there is no grappling of any type, either on the feet or on the ground. Fighters cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor as well, so that bears watching here as round one gets underway. That was a big check. Sean gets caught by that straight punch there. All right, so one minute into the fight, certainly a lot of respect on both sides, but a lot more respect than action, at least thus far. Yeah, boo, I'm boo, I'm boo. I'm not even I'm proud. I gotta catch myself. You need to go in there and fight. Come on, man, it's a video game. Somebody do something. Go forward and fight. And they are exchanging leather early. Oh, huge kick to the leg. Just misses there with the left. Oh, and there's another combination. She's turning this into a sparring session. Just high volume, and her opponent's got to make some adjustments. Opponent has to make adjustments, but she has to interrupt those combos. 
when she gets going into her combination, opponent needs to interrupt that when she is this. Free-flowing, it is very difficult to deal with. What a nasty flying knee to the head. Zhang going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Well, she's so confident in her defense and her ability to block shots, and, and now you see what? You see all she learned from her background in boxing that allows her to be so effective defensively. Oh, my goodness, what a kick! over 20 total strikes, which have landed for Weili Zhang. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Great punch. Well, that left hand has been there for her tonight, not on that attempt. Well, a nice straight there by Grasso. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. Oh, heavy kick to the body. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. Now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. You ready to fight? Ready. Round two here. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs. Both fighters had a huge strike right there, DC. Great shot landed. Now he's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Ooh! Huge left hand! Head leg kick hurt. And she misses with the left punch there. Oh, straight punch. Straight right hand, but she misses. Nice head kick gets to her. All right, so you can see her leg is hurt, and now she's starting to limp a little bit, DC. So certainly something that bears watching as this fight continues. Yeah, we got to keep our eyes on it. Her movements are labored. She has been very compromised from those leg kicks. Three minutes to go. Oh, there, probably her best strike of the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class, but she lands, and she lands very effectively. Forty-six total strikes have landed now for Alexa Grasso. Well, not the greatest land percentage necessarily. Thirty-seven percent the accuracy thus far against Wei Li Zhang. Oh, she is in a world of trouble. We'll see if she can survive. Back to the feet now. Well, she has certainly picked up the pace here in round two and starting to find herself in the pocket a little bit. She was a little bit hesitant in round one. No hesitancy whatsoever here in round two. She has clearly found her rhythm and range. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Look at the inside leg kick. She grounds her opponent now. Could be the beginning of the end, champ. She hurt her very badly with that big leg kick. Attempts the front kick there. All right, nice job by her to sort of shell up defensively here. Oh. Oh. 
Just missed with the left there. Zhang's left leg appeared to be damaged by that last kick, so could be an emerging stool line as this fight continues. So what a round it was, DC. Take us through some of the highlights. Got to think her kicking game is going to be featured prominently here. She did decent work with the hands, but the kicking game was the thing that truly separated her from her opponent. She was landing kick after kick and truly slowing down her opponent in that round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, so that last round, another pretty good frame for both fighters. We'll see which woman makes the requisite adjustments. Oh! She's hurting bad. Oh! Oh, big left hand! Catches the kick there. We'll see what she can do with it. Oh, she just continues to land a high volume of strikes here, really just like she did in the previous round, and she does not seem to be slowing down at all. Well, the right... Oh, that's a huge connection by her there. Lower the curtain. Bring the cast out. Bring the cast if you take the foul. The night's over. Oh, man, it's a big shot, too. The jab followed by the right hand. They're going at it now. Just over three minutes to go. Well, it looked like we were going to get a finish. She had her rocked pretty good, but she wasn't able to close the shot. She wasn't able to find the kill shot. She hurt her very badly. She was not able to find the kill shot that would have finished the fight. Well, she's been good tonight, but she missed without. Well, she lands another strike to the body here, and the percentage is getting high now in terms of the body strikes landed. Didn't see a huge connection fire there. Massive shot land. How's she going to try to find the next shot that will finish the fight? Rosso's left leg is damaged now. Perhaps it was that last kick that did the damage, but you can see a clear limp that the fighter is dealing with right now. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Zhang gets lit up by that straight punch. Well, DC, I know you're high on this fighter, but she is fading fast. She got stunned earlier in the round and physically just hasn't responded well since. She has not responded to adversity. You have to understand, as a fighter, everything will not go according to plan. She has not done well holding back to where she was before she got hurt so bad early in the round. Total strikes which have connected for Alexa Grasso. What a strike by her there. I do not doubt her opponent still stands. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find some space so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. Trying to hammer that lead leg. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. Heading back to the corner now after a competitive round. And Zhang's got a real significant cut above the eye. We'll see if the cut man can stop the bleeding. Well, a punch like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good. I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still going to get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. You ready to fight? You ready. Go Fourth ahead. round. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five is now underway, and now is the time, DC, where the endurance, the cardio, and the
the overall skills of these women figures to be tested. Yes, both of them will be tested on the oh, I mean, that is a big shot to the head. I cannot believe she's still standing. Able to check the high kick. Oh, nice. Oh, we're getting the finish here. Big right hand there. Rosso going for the leg kick. Nothing doing there. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters have absorbed a lot of damage thus far. These two women have both fought. Oh, smokes! Power shots landing on both sides. And the chins continue to hold up. Here is Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Alexa. All right, you heard it there from Bruce Buff or Buff careful on the stairs down, man. But Alexa Grasso, your winner by TKO, and really played to her strengths well here tonight. She did. You know, she knows that her boxing is going to be the key. So she used...